Good morning. It is styling day. Well, not day. It's probably going to be weeks, but for this kitchen. And I really want to bring in the Tasha Flair and I want to go downstairs into the basement and I want to get all of my home decor out of all of the storage boxes and I want to go shopping at HomeSense and I've been shopping on Etsy. I want to take you guys just through a super home decor driven video. That's all I want to do today. So let's get to it. So this is what the kitchen is currently looking like. I really feel like it needs a lot more character. This is like kind of the hallway in front of the, you know, the sink. And I really feel like this is a great spot for a statement runner. I'd really love something that's got kind of a bit of like peachy, but is still very neutral. And the last time I got a vintage rug, I got one off Etsy. Whenever I'm in the market for a vintage rug, I always head to Etsy first. There's a shop on there called Kill 'em Rug Home, and they have an amazing assortment of vintage rugs, you know, from runners to large rugs to small rugs, just like a crazy assortment. And um, the prices are always great as well. Just Sometimes you just want something that's actually vintage that not everyone's gonna have in their home and um, definitely on this shop, that's what I found. These are some of the rugs that I was looking at getting for the kitchen. Didn't get these ones, but I'm gonna link them down below and if you're interested in any of them, you can check them out. Um, this price is in Canadian, but obviously if you're in US, it'll be cheaper. Just such a great assortment and I was looking for something that was going to have a peachy hue to kind of stay within the neutral vibe of the kitchen, but add a little bit of warmth. There were so many to choose from. Again, I'm gonna link these all down below. If you're in the market, check out Kill 'em Rug Home on Etsy. Just such a great assortment of rugs. But like, how amazing is this? I love this pattern. It's got like a little bit of peach to it. And over this side, it's completely different. It's got this like vintage lived in look. I love this. I feel like it just adds a little bit of warmth and separation because there's so much wood in here. I feel like it's like, and it's the perfect size. I just, I love this. Make sure you go check out those rugs that I linked below. Um, just like fantastic stuff. This wouldn't really be a home decor video without a trip to home sense. I was on the hunt for a plant pot and I found that one, which I really liked, but it also came in white. So I decided I had to get that. Um, I was also on the hunt for a cutting board, but to be honest, the selection, I feel like at home sense right now, uh, it's just not that good if I'm honest. Um, so I decided that I would go to Target. For cutting boards, like this is nice, but the wood is not very, like it's rough. So I wouldn't want to like, that's more like a serving tray, I feel. This is way nicer. But it's just not like the right color for the kitchen. I'd rather have white, you know, if it's going to be the wrong color wood. Yeah, none of these are doing it. Okay, so I have this pot, which I think I want to put on the shelf. And I also have this plant, which is my aunt's pothos. She moved across Canada, so she gave it to me. So I want to put it in here and see what we can do. So this is probably gonna make a huge friggin' mess, but it's fine, I can vacuum it up. So I definitely wanna put a print like up there on that shelf and I have these cow dog prints which I kind of wanted to like hang all together but I just don't really know like maybe at a future date I'll have a place to hang them all together but right now I just don't. So for now I think I'm just gonna like frame the German Shepherd one. What's hard about these prints is that they are on kind of like a manila paper like Anyways, so it's better to have them in a floating frame than it is a matted frame. So I'm thinking like frame this one and put it up on the shelf. I also have these prints that 
these need homes too. I bought like mystery prints and all I wanted was cowgirls. All I freaking wanted was cowgirls. And there were so many different ones and not only did I get a cowgirl one, but I got one that's like on a, a Ford and Jeep like paper. So these are all like vintage notepads that this artist, Sam Larson, he did like random sketches on. So anyways, I ended up getting that one, which I just feel like reminds me of me. I don't know, maybe that's just stupid, but. And then I got this one, and then I also have this print. Look who's here. The search for bar stools quickly became an easy one once I started browsing through Article's website. I'm always impressed by every item from Article. Everything is such high quality and these stools were seriously no exception. I decided to go with the Netro Oak counter stools. They have a solid oak frame and a natural cane backing in this really cool bleached fisheye pattern. For comfort, the seat is upholstered, and truly, you guys, there is something to be said about a bar stool with a back. It's, it's truly ultimate comfort. Article makes it easy to create beautiful spaces and ships almost anywhere in the USA and Canada for a flat rate of $49, or free shipping on orders above $9.99. I originally got four of these, which I think looks really great but then we kind of realized like you don't have a lot of wiggle room to kind of like get in and out of where this you know like in and out of your seat so i have three here and i think three looks much cleaner so we've decided to keep the fourth one upstairs in case we ever have six people over we can throw one more uh counter stool at the end there and it'll be great i really feel like these take a really white space and sort of break it up a little bit with with a uh, the wood and then also the cane is just so nice because then from this side you actually see a little bit of something because we had considered doing just like stools here but I'm glad we did something with a back that you can kind of see from the other side and then we definitely decided three is the number to have here um, when we have guests and stuff we'll bring the fourth one down but like just when it's just Michael and I kind of gives you a little bit more room to like pull it out and like get in you know what I mean whereas like if you had four here it might be a little harder because you wouldn't have as much space in between each chair but um, I'm so happy with these I think they look so good going into the deep abyss that is the basement to find some of my home decor which I think they're in these tote bins just to see like what I can use in the kitchen. This is home decor. That one can go up. Books are good for stacking stuff. We have a candle, another pot, vase, a bell, another plant pot. <laughs> I have these cups that I'm gonna put on display. I feel like cups are a pretty good thing that, to have sitting out so like they're easy to grab. I think these are by Barter. They're a Canadian company. And then I have these ones, which are just from Superstar, but they're really pretty. So, so I was like having this conversation with Michael and I figure I might as well have it with you guys we're doing this video together um, about how I like okay I had these books in this little basket and I thought like yeah that looks good you know it fills that little section I feel like it finishes off the shelf but those books like bring me zero joy I've never read them they look cute but I've never read them and everything else up there I love and brings me joy. And it's like, why do I want, like I'm kind of over that. Like the whole 
just putting books on your shelf because you need something to put there. I don't know. And that's how I, I kind of felt about that whole bin is just it was full of a bunch of stuff that I don't really care about. And then something I do really love and care about is my YouTube plaque, which it's just so harsh and black. And I felt that the whole way I've owned or the whole time I've owned it. It's just like the black is so harsh. I'm like, maybe I should just paint the frame because black's just like never been the vibe. I don't know, but that's something I love and that's something that I would like to have sitting up there and I think looks cute, but it's just the frame color. I brought you two options. Michael went downstairs to find me something he loves to put on the shelf. Are those VHSs? Yeah, instead of a stack of books, got the ultimate collection of the Mighty Ducks, D2, D3, and the original. These movies rock. You want to put them on our kitchen shelf? Yeah. Better than books. Well, that takes me to the number one option. Banner from the glory days. Okay, so I've made the decision. That's where I'm going to stop this vlog. I still think I want to do quite a few things with this kitchen um, that I'll put in another vlog. I find that with content being churned out so fast these days, we tend to sort of um, lose a sense of like, let me actually take the time to figure out what I want to do with the space so that I make, you know, really great choices and things that I'm buying and the DIYs that I'm investing in. So that's sort of like what I felt like I could really do right now. And there's some things that I, I still want to, um, take some time to figure out. I feel like this looks really great. Like the shelf isn't overly full. Um, would love one more small thing there. Like I said, I might actually spray that YouTube plaque frame white, but like the cutting boards look really great. I really want to get a Smeg toaster. I feel like that would look really gorgeous there as well. Um, I actually had this little tray. So I put like the dish soap and the dish sponge on there. I think that looks cute. The rug is really the star of the show. You really have to go check out that Etsy shop. There's some beautiful pieces there. Um, but like other things I really wanna do is this door that's over here. I, I think I wanna sand it and maybe possibly like have like a bleached wood look. Um, I'd love something here. I don't really know yet. I think even like some extra hooks would be good there. I'm gonna be putting some like hooks in the entryway, but like some hooks here for like purses or like coat or dog things. I think that could be good, but I don't wanna to commit to it until I know, you know? And then and this wall is super white, but I was thinking of doing like some sort of bulletin board here, um, just to add color to this really white area of the kitchen. It's like a bulletin board there that I can put like I don't know, you know, Polaroids and stuff. And I wanna like take the time and make that and maybe do like a frame around it. So I'll just, you guys will see that in another vlog, but truly I'm loving this. Like this made it feel so much more like home. Um, probably the bar stools mostly and then the rug. It's like really made it feel like Oh, people live here, you know what I mean? I feel like TikTok these days has really inspired me to just be my authentic, true self and instead of forcing some DIYs that I'm not 100% sure about, I'm just gonna say, see you in the next video. <laughs> we'll do that in another video. Um, yeah, okay, that's it for me. Links to everything down below. Bye guys. I have to just come back and say, I just love the cane like sticking up over the island. Gosh, isn't that cute? Love that. Okay, okay, bye.